Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins. This is the translation of the message that he sent to me. The translation reads like this. Hello, how are you? Can you please post my own story as anonymous? So Brother Nanshi, I am a South African woman who found out that my own husband had impregnated my own co-worker. And what really hurt me was that they impregnated each other on my birthday. This was after I had invited her into my home because we had this small party that my husband was throwing for me on my birthday. Little did I know that this woman, she was already in love with my husband. And when they got that opportunity, that was when they decided to get in between the sheets without even using protection. And then she fell pregnant or maybe she had planning to fall pregnant for him once she was going to sleep with him. So all that I had to do, unfortunately, I then spoke with my maid who is from Zim and I told her to look for a very powerful red garment prophet who could help me. I did not even care. All that I wanted was for this woman to have a miscarriage. Little did I know that uh, having a miscarriage, it was going to result in her dying. So I had been living with this terrible secret for the past year. And what I did, it really hurts me a lot because the last time when I saw her own husband, I felt so sorry for him because he did not even know that the wife was cheating on him. Worst of all, he is now left with the kids that he needs to take care of. It's like I am tormented each and every night by the ghost of the woman that I killed. It all started when I found out that my husband had impregnated my co-worker. And I had no idea that they had been seeing each other behind my back. By the time that I found out, it was all by mistake. I just got into my husband's car. There were some things that I needed in his car regularly, like I am someone who did not even go and check his car. That was when I saw a receipt. It was for this other guest house. Then I knew that my husband was up to something. I secretly installed a tracker on his car. That was when I started to notice the, his movements. And then I found out, when I found out, my world came crashing down. The betrayal, the anger, the humiliation, it was just too much for me to bear. And worse of all, the time that I found out that this was what had been going on. My husband on his side, he was a man that was very apologetic and he told me that he did not want to lose his family. He even suggested that since him and this woman, uh, like they were expecting a baby, it was far much better that he makes her to even become the second wife. I was even thinking about it, but I had not yet even had a proper decision. And that was when I spoke with my co-worker about this issue since she was now pregnant for my husband. Then the way that she acted out, the way that she was angry at me, the way that she humiliated me, it was just too much. I could not believe that she could do this to me, especially this woman whom I was working with each and every day. I felt sick with rage and I could not think properly. I could think all that I could think about was how to get back at both of them. I wanted revenge, total revenge. I wanted her out of my life for good with her pregnancy. That was when I spoke with my maid who is from Zim. And when we were talking, I all that I wanted for, for her was to direct me to anyone who could help me so that she can have a miscarriage. Then she suggested a solution that I would have never thought on my own. She told me that there was this other man whom she knew this man was staying in Soweto and the man is also from Zim, a red garment prophet who would take care of anything as long as you had the money. Even if you want someone to die, she said, he gives you a needle, then you step that person, then the person will die. At first I hesitated, but the more that I thought about it, the more I convinced myself that this was the only way to make the pain go away. So me and my maid, we arranged everything. One evening, we got into the car. I lied to my husband that I just wanted some fresh air. That was when me and my maid, we drove to Soweto and she was the one who was giving me the directions. She took me to this so-called red garment prophet. And when we got there, I felt something dark about this man. He invited 
us into his room the prophet told me that if i wanted that woman gone there was a ritual that i needed to perform so it was my choice i said that i did not want that woman to die but i wanted her to have a miscarriage and he said it is fine i needed to perform a and participate in a ritual he then gave me a needle and he told me to bring something that would belong to her anything personal that she would have touched i knew that nomsa not her own name kept her things at work so i took one of her scarves late at night i rushed to that place in soweto before i had returned back home the night of the ritual i was shaking the prophet instructed me to step the needle into the scarf whilst i was chanting some holy prayers that he had given to me it was like i was in a trance consumed my by my desire for revenge all that i could think about was how i wanted her gone how i wanted to hurt her the way that she had hurt me two weeks later when she had a miscarriage she also had an infection she was then rushed to the hospital and people said that she got ignored by the nurses that were on duty and by the morning she had passed away when i heard that she had passed away i knew that i was the one who had done this i had ended her life at first i felt relief i now had my husband all to myself i thought that i had won this game and the pain would go away now that she was out of the picture but i was wrong very wrong it started a few months after her death i could not sleep at night every time i would close my eyes i would see a face as if she was accusing me she would appear at the foot of my bed staring at me with eyes full of pain and i would hear a voice saying asking why did you do this to me why why did you do this to me why why did you do this to me why then she will disappear at first i tried to ignore it telling myself it was just guilt that was playing tricks with me but as the months has been going on the visions they are becoming more real i can even hear footsteps in the hallway at night and when i look then there won't be anyone sometimes i can even feel a cold presence right next to my bed as if she is lying beside me haunting me worst of all when my husband is working night shift i know that there is a spirit a spirit is restless and she is seeking a revenge on me for what i have done so i then returned back to the prophet oh god i so hate the operations because when i got there that was when i had the sad news that this prophet he had been arrested since he is caught without any documentation and i don't know what else am i supposed to do i am just waiting for him because i spoke with my maid she told me that she is still trying to find another red garment prophet who can assist me to undo all the things that i did even though this woman who was trying to steal my husband is dead please when you post my story try to tell me so that i can follow through in the comment section dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sister please let us try to speak with her in the comment section strange things indeed they do happen in this world can you just imagine yo let us speak with her in the comment section.